Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Bebby and today we're playing some Akaretas. Akaretas is a strategy game, uh, a tile based strategy game, where you have to destroy the opponent's team with your team of robots. Uh, as of now, um, it, it's going to be rele released today and not all functions are in the game. As a matter of fact, the most integral part of the game is uh, not finished yet and that is the campaign. I am not sure when they're going to add this. But in the meantime, you can take a look at the skirmish mode and you can even play against other people if you uh, may so wish. So it's going to be an early access, uh, as it says right there. Let's go and play a, a, a match, I'd say. So I've been playing on hard um, and preferred round time is 60 seconds. Now, this is going to be your team. Um, you have to uh, choose your uh, character and whatnot. Let's leave that aside for now uh, and look at the most interesting parts and that is uh, your robot. So you can create your own robot and that robot is going to be uh, on the battlefield and you're going to actually use your team of robots to destroy the enemy team of robots of course. Um, I have made some robots myself and I quite like this loadout. It seems to be working fairly well um, but we'll um, just take a look at the creation screen. Uh, so first off, when you're going to build one of your robots, it's going to tell you which one, or it's going to ask you which one you want to have. And each core, for instance, which is going to be the first part of a robot, of course, uh, has different effects. So uh, this one has more life. Uh, it has other modifiers. The costs of these robots are different as well. I don't think in Skirmish it matters so much. You can just pick any uh, item you want. But that, that's obviously going to be a part of the campaign. Let's just uh, choose the Molten Core just, just because, yeah. We, we only want to see what this is all about. So uh, you can choose to not give your robot any legs or whatever. Um, or you can, give him you can give him propellers, legs, whatever you want. Uh, let's give him a propeller just for the fun of it. Um, and you've got to load this thing out with weapons. Now you can make this guy uh, a melee... Uh, character which I I, th I think you should have a mixture of both in your team uh, so you can make him a heavy uh, melee guy or you could uh, tanky melee guy or you can make him a ranged guy um, there's, there's loads of options and uh, all these uh, weapons have got other modifiers to them other other damage or other live modifiers and such and it's not like one is better than the other it's just it d depends on your strategy a lot uh, let's say we want to add a ballista. We're going to have to do that on the top. And we'd be able to um, add two crossbows as well. And look at this thing. It's now a flying crossbow machine, eh? That's uh, that's nice. Can we add the thermal cooler at the bottom? We can, actually. That's quite something. That looks quite, uh, quite neat, doesn't it? Let's go and save this robot. Just, uh... Yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. Uh, Alright, um, I'm just going to use my two robots. Uh, we can take a look at them. This one is the melee one. This one is the ranged guy. I don't think that core was actually appropriate for it. But it doesn't really matter. Let's go back to the main menu. And uh, I'm just going to play on normal for now. And let's choose... Let's choose a bigger map. I don't know. The, the maps are not, not finished yet. It, the titles aren't even normal. I think this is the default map. Let's go and uh, launch a game. There we go. So, yeah, we see the enemy team. We see our own team. And we are um, out here to destroy them. Let's make this quickly, though, because we have a time of running. Let's uh, play our cards right, literally. Witness selected unit. No. Units will attempt to dodge one square side when attacked. I think I want to play that on my melee uh, units. Let's move our melee units closer. And I've got a ballista on top of my uh, ranged units. So that... Um, so that I can... Uh, I, I can have quite the range. Let's go and put dodge on this character. Because he's obviously going to be attacked. Uh, he's on the front lines so after all. Uh, let's go and attack those fellows. Ooh... Yeah, it, there, there's also uh, odds of hitting these guys. Now, unfortunately, they're a bit too far away, so I can't really see it. But let's quickly um, press the button before our turn's over. Can we still move? We cannot. 
No. Let's go and end our turn. So their hell bar is obviously uh, represented with that green bar uh, over there. There's all sorts of modifiers that show... Uh, it, it all shouldn't be too hard for you guys to understand. Let's see, because we can try... We can either use our ballista or our uh, shotguns or whatever those things are. I think they're pipes, pipes or something. I think we want to use the ballista because we want to damage as many guys as possible. They're standing right next to each other after all. And the weapon's got an AoE, so it should be rather effective against these guys. Oh, we don't even have a choice. <laughs> and that was a match already. That's, uh, wow. It might be that I'm using OP characters, uh, uh, of course. I mean, there's no costs assigned to these guys uh, as of yet. Um... Another thing is that you can uh, change your loadout of cards. So let's say you don't have units that um, depend on melee. You can take out some cards and uh, increase the odds of getting other cards. Let's see, we can't can't use that slot, unfortunately. I think. I don't know why it's locked. But it doesn't seem to be a system in the game that makes you... Uh, or gives you the possibility to level... Let's play a match on hard and see how much harder this actually gets. I have not played this map before. Well, I have played this map before, but not too much. Not so much as the other one. Uh, the other ones in the game. Let's see. Jump away one square back from nearest enemy. No. And to guard stance and receive 40% damage resistance. Don't think we need either one of these. Uh, strength is not going to apply to these guys because they're ranged. I think I want to hit these fellows. Oh, I haven't selected anyone. There we go. We should have quite quite the odds of hitting someone at least. Even if it misses, it might land there and still might damage all those guys over there. Let's see, I want to select you. Go and hit that guy. Oh my god, so it missed, but it still hit. It still hit the other guy. Uh, let's move our melee guys out quickly. Um, give him the guard card. Because he, he might be getting uh, hit uh, pretty soon. And I think that's going to be our turn. Now, you can't use your cards unlimit unlimitedly. Is that is that even a word? I don't know. Um, you have to make sure that your CP meter doesn't run out. And I know that sounds quite bad. But it doesn't stand for cheese pizza. Ugh. All right. Seems like the enemy uh, didn't really know what to do. We can now engage in melee combat, which we didn't do before this. Gives a friendly unit the ability to do one counterattack. I think I'm going to do that. And that's um, after I situate this guy here. But we can attack ourselves, of course. So let's go and do that. And he dodged. That's fine. Let's go and attack that fellow. He's going to dodge as well. And let's hit this guy with our uh, more precise weapon. There we go. We get two shots, of course, because we've got two arms. I want to select this guy. Can we, can we move? Can we move our camera view? No, uh, we can't. That's uh, that's weird. Okay, we made our move, and we can't attack after that anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's give this um, this unit retaliation. There we go, and let's hope it's not going to be hit by these guys too hard, but he might be. I don't know. We're in a fragile position at the moment. I mean, you do a counter-attack anyway, but if you have the card selected, you get a 100% extra damage. So you, you obviously want that. The counter-attack isn't uh, as powerful as your regular attack. It seems like that guy was ranged, so uh, that didn't work out too well for me. Uh, let's go and hit this guy with a ballist. No, wait a minute. Um, I think I'm going to use the ballista for this guy. Or with this guy, sorry. Because this robot is uh, positioned better to hit that guy. I couldn't even choose my shotgun, so that's that's really unfortunate. Look at my health of my own guy, because I hit him. Uh. Let's go and uh, rough this guy up. There we go, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to uh, take him out. There we go, and let's give... This guy, the damage resistance. 
And then we'll give this guy weakness, because he's the one who's shooting us. And I don't think this guy is going to do too much damage. He can't reach the other uh, fellow that's low on health, so... Yeah, we're good. We're good. There we go. Oh, wow. He, he hits both of these guys? Wow. I gave him defense and all, but he still managed to kill us. Hmm. Obviously, want to hit him with that attack. There we go. And that's one dead. I don't think we can choose... Oh, yeah, we can. All right. Okay, there we go. Um, power set. Perform your last movement skill again. Do we have a card which gives us extra movement? I would think that power step would do that. Uh, let's give him overwatch so he'll attack any... Um... No, you know what? Look at my health. I think that guy's going to fall for sure. Uh, that sucks. We'll be able to kill him, though. We've got um, we've got him in our sides with both our robots. And that is a victory. I mean, of course, I, I have played this game, but I'm not too good at it yet. So give me some credit, please. <laughs> I did win on hard, so... Uh... Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, and I'd like to see you guys back again. As always, have a good one. Cheers.